we now head to France, where people are waking up from a night of celebrations as France won the 2018 World Cup, beating Croatia 4-2 in a thrilling final. These are the images from last night at the Champs-Élysées. This is the second time France wins the title, this win coming exactly 20 years after they did it the first time back then in 1998. It was on home soil, and these celebrations came just a day after the day of the Bastille, where celebrations took place all over France, and this will surely go on for days and days to come. And joining me here in the studio is I-24 News Sports contributor Alec Pollard. Alec, thank you for being with us. A strange final there. Uh, France was leading 2-1 at halftime when they barely like, had shot, shots on target. But they did with, with an own goal and, and the penalty. Eventually 4-2. And the French, as it seems, were perhaps the most solid, the most powerful team in this tournament. Yes, the, the final was a bit strange that... The French only had three shots on target, but they scored four goals thanks to an own goal by Mario Mandzukic. Um, but the French, you know, throughout the tournament really were very solid, very clinical in front of goal. Um, sometimes in matches where they didn't play that great, they still managed to win quite comfortably. Uh, they had a very difficult uh, road to the final. You have to appreciate that. They beat Argentina, Uruguay, Belgium, and Croatia. That's, that's a very tough road to the title. Yes, it was, because we had that strange situation where one side of the draw was uh, packed with some of the better teams like Brazil and Belgium, and the other side was a bit weaker. So, you know, they definitely deserve to win the title. Uh, but Croatia also had a very difficult road to the, to, to, to the final. They had that very difficult group that involved Argentina and I Nigeria and Iceland. And they had uh, three overtime games in, yes, in the knockout stages. Yes, beat Russia the host against England. So uh, both teams were, were deserving. But in the end, there can only be there one winner. There can only be one winner. You mentioned uh, Croatia. They're certainly disappointed uh, after losing the final. But what a tournament for, for this nation of four million people. A, a, a gigantic, uh, gigantic squad with Rakitic, Modric, Mandzukic. Disappointed yet very proud. Yes, yes. I mean, it's an amazing achievement that such a small country, I mean, they're tiny, just over 4 million people. France are about 20 times their size, that they have so many great players and they had such a great tournament. And I think they also may be uh, ruining missed opportunities in that final because they were just as good as France, maybe even better for Certainly parts the of that. Certainly the first half. Yes, for, 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 for much of that match, they were great. And especially in the first half, those two goals, um, you know, an old goal by Majukic, that handball that was a bit of a fluke handball that, you know, they, it wasn't even, uh, any real danger of a goal and the French got a penalty so they'll they'll be feeling quite disappointed that they uh, couldn't uh, bring it home in that final and you know especially for a country like Croatia this is their golden generation I will they have another chance in this lifetime uh, it will be very very difficult but to everybody thought that. that 20 years ago when they reached the semi-final and here 20 years later it happened uh, again